the world of Pinewood Robotics. Here I would like to display uh, one of the project developed by me. This is actually a robo arm which is having the capability to cut the thermocol sheet into a circular shape. So here you can see this is actually uh, uh, say si limit size. Here limit size for the thickness of the uh, thermocol sheet. Here you can see the distance between this point and these two supports. So only this much thickness of uh, thermocol sheets of about one centimeter you can just put uh, for cuttings. So and this one is the say cutter which works in this way to cut the thermocol sheet and this moves in a circular way to uh, give it a circular shape. So just now, uh, so I will like to display you it in the working one by one. Okay. Here is a 12 volt battery which I am keeping over here, and here just to see, here just to see, you can see how this is moving. So uh, you have just seen the movement of this cutter. Now I will show you the movement, the circular movement of this arm. Here you can see this arm is moving and when this cutter and the arm move uh, simultaneously then it will give a circular shape to the thermocol sheet. See. Now I am bringing, bringing it back to the normal shape. Here I want to make you uh, one thing sure that the uh, this uh, knife which I have made and this, uh, this it is just sliding over this uh, uh, plastic cover uh, and the frame which I have prepared it using this mica sheet and uh, this plastic cover and uh, here the, uh, these are the two springs uh, which I have just put to ensure that a pressure is exerted when it um, tries to penetrate or cut the thermocol sheet and uh, here you can see this pyramidal structure this pyramidal structure this is being made just to uh, say uh, divert uh, just to is distribute the pressure because you can see that when it is moving it is exerting a lot of pressure and if it would have been just a tall and mineral type of shape then this uh, say mica sheet would have been just say um, moving away from its uh, place because of the pressure and now in this way the whole pressure is being distributed up till here so this is the benefit of this type of shape so that's all and over here is just one thing more I want to show you here you can see the caster wheels are um, sub provided over here and these wheels are just rolling over this sheet these caster wheels are actually providing the rolling support and ensures that uh, no extra load is uh, put on this uh, center shaft of the motor shaft of this motor which is uh, center shaft and the motors which I have used this one is of 3.5 rpm and this one is heavy torque side shaft motor of uh, 45 rpm so here that's all for you and uh, I wish that I will be very soon bringing you some more projects uh, based on manual robotics and automation. Thank you.